हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू इंथुजियास लर्निंग होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर फाइन वी विल डू ऑसोलेशन दिस वीडियो इज बेनिफिशियल फॉर सी बी एस ई क्लास इलेवन जे नीट एंड के वी पी वाई फर्स्ट प्रियोडिक मोशन इट इज द मोशन दैट रिपीट इट सेल्फ आफ्टर फिक्सड इंटरवल ऑफ टाइम एग्जाम्पल रोटेशन ऑफ अर्थ रेवल्यूशन ऑफ अर्थ टाइम पीरियड the time interval in which a particle repeats motion oscillatory motion to and fro motion about a mean position is called oscillatory motion note all oscillatory motions are periodic but not vice versa shm it is a special case of oscillatory motion in which acceleration is always directed toward mean position and is proportional to displacement from mean position time period t time taken to complete one oscillation is called time period t is equals to 2 pi under root m by k frequency f it is the number of oscillations per second frequency is given by 1 by 2 pi under root k by n angular frequency omega omega is equals to root k by m position position is given by a sin omega t here you can see the graph position versus time velocity v is equals to omega under root a square minus y square here you can see the graph velocity versus time acceleration acceleration is given by minus omega square y here is the graph of acceleration versus time now differential equation of shm it is d square x by dt square plus omega square x is equals to 0 now energy is in shm the kinetic energy is given by half m omega square into a square minus x square the potential energy of the particle is half m omega square x square total energy is kinetic energy plus potential energy so it is half m omega square a square where a is the amplitude m is the mass omega is angular frequency and v is the frequency here is the graph of energy in shm now phase in shm first x is equals to a sin omega t second x is equals to a sin omega t plus pi by 2 third x is equals to a sin omega t plus pi fourth x is equals to a sin omega t plus 3 pi by 2 fifth if the mean particle has shifted then the equation is x not plus a sin omega t plus phi not now question The equation of SHM is x is equals to ten sine pi by two t plus pi by three. We have to find amplitude. So here amplitude will be ten. Now second part initial phase. Initial phase is pi by three. Third angular frequency omega is pi by two. Fourth. the time period time period is 2 pi by omega and omega is pi by 2 so it will be 4 seconds fifth frequency frequency is 1 upon t and time period is 4 so 1 by 4 which is equals to 0.25 sixth spring constant where mass is 2 kg k is equal to m omega square after putting the values we get pi square upon 2 now the seventh 
in how much time particle reaches positive extreme position and mean position for positive extreme x is equals to plus 10 where 10 is sine pi by 2t plus pi by 3 pi by 2 is equals to pi by 2t plus pi by 3 here t is equals to 1 by 3 seconds for mean position it is 4 by 3 seconds Eighth, find kinetic energy, potential energy, and total energy at x is equals to 5 meter. After putting the formula of kinetic energy, we get it as 75 pi square upon 4. Potential energy as 25 pi square by 4 and total energy as 25 pi square. SHM of bodies in equilibrium. There should exist a point where net force on particle is zero. This is called as mean position. A particle may or may not perform SHM about this mean position. To check, displace the particle slightly from its mean position by distance x. If a net extra force coming into the picture to bring the definite particle to its mean position, then it will definitely perform SHM. If net is equal to minus k by x, T is equal to 2 pi root m by x. Now simple pendulum. T is equal to 2 pi under root L by G. It is independent of, of the mass of Bob. Physical pendulum. It is 2 pi under root L by m G D. Seconds pendulum. In seconds pendulum, length is 1 meter and the time period is 2 seconds. Time period on earth. It will be 2 pi L by G. Time period on moon. It is 2 pi 6 L by G. On space, T is infinity. Now upward acceleration. G effective is equals to G plus A. T is equals to 2 pi under root L by G plus A. So the time period decreases. It starts oscillating faster. Downward acceleration. G effective is G minus A. T is equals to 2 pi L upon G minus A. Here time period increases. It starts oscillating slower. Horizontal acceleration time period is equal to 2 pi under root L by G square plus A square. Now undamped oscillations. Oscillations with a constant amplitude with time are called undamped oscillations. Here energy is equal to half K A square. Time period is equal to 2 pi by omega and X is equal to A sin omega T plus 5. Damped oscillations when energy is gradually lost in SHM and the amplitude decreases with time, then oscillation is called damped oscillations. Amplitude here is the graph forced oscillations. Example on a swing, father keeps on pushing his child periodically to compensate for frictional motion. Three forces will act on a system damping force, restoring force, and periodic force. The motion will be complicating, but after a while, the object oscillates with frequency omega of the applied force. Displacement is given by x is equal to a sin omega t plus 5. Characteristics of forced oscillation. In forced oscillation, amplitude is independent of time. Energy loss due to a damping force is compensated by the work done applied in it. Resonance. The condition on angular frequency when the amplitude becomes maximum is called resonance condition. Resonance occurs when applied frequency is equal to the natural frequency. We see that A is max when omega is equal to omega naught or F is equal to F naught.
that is it for oscillations thank you for watching please subscribe the channel and like the video